music company collector bowls. I have to keep correcting myself because the bowls and the and the glass and the gaming doesn't even go anymore. But today we're looking at a BioPass uh, one six hot toys uh one six scale hot toys Royal Royal Guard, which thank you for not pricing it so high, but still kind of like you could have done like one eighty nine because well I don't know. 205 is a good price, but I'm still like, I'm a consumer, I'm a buyer, so I'm going to be like, you could have done it a little bit lower. But it's going for 205, releasing in January, March 2019, same time as our Emperor, the beloved Emperor, do it. So, uh, this, this figure, really, when it released, I looked at the pics. I saw it in person at the Star Wars Celebration show in uh, April, back in April 2017. Yeah, those were the days, and it was it was not as flashy because they didn't have its robes like all these poses. It was just like, you know, like a royal guard. You know what I mean? So this is the story of it. Pause it right there. Pause it right there if you want to see what it comes with. But we're gonna go over it anyway. Um, it's beautiful force pike. I don't know what a force pike even means. I don't like because Yoda just then people. Um, uh, but let's go over some pictures. So we're looking at the Royal Guard here. This is the basic pose I saw him in holding his Force Pike. And they're just basically looking straight and no uh, emotions at all in this guy. So let's go on to the next one. Palpatine walking by these two. I would like to pick, I would have liked to see them do a two pack for like, two pack, for like 400 bucks or something like that. Because it makes sense. We're like Storm, we're like Star Wars fans, so don't like sell them separately. I mean, like give us a two pack, give us a deal, throw us some, throw us a cookie, damn it, and do something for us, man. Hot Toys, you know we want two of these. You know we're gonna like stack up on these. These are like, this is the first time other than Stormtroopers, I have seen something that you would want to like what they call army build and like stack up on, and. They're selling it for two hundred five when they sold a uh, Rogue One Stormtrooper for one eighty nine. Was it? That was like dirt cheap. They're probably like, "Damn, we were stupid. We were dumb. Why did we sell it for one eighty nine? Jack up the price. Screw them, man. Screw them right in the dung hole." That was almost racist, but I didn't. I didn't go there. So let's keep on going. Um, what I love about this, you don't see it too too much but you see he has a red visor i love that they i love the attention to detail that hot toys goes into and i love the fabric that they use that it's just falling so so gently and nicely you just want to cuddle with him at night what did i say so like the more and more you look at it the more and more class this figure has like it's so beautiful these pictures is what sells the crap out for me like i love I really love the pose they have done in this one in the forward, uh, in the forwarding uh, perspective. Like that's the way he has his force pike, and just like holding it. I want to see these guys in movies actually kicking ass because I want to see how they're like, <clears throat> like they're probably gonna fight like penguins. But I would like to see it. I would like to see how they do it. Um, here comes a disappointment when they show under. Well, we'll get another one. But this is amazing photography, actually, really, from um, Hot Toys. I really love this. Um, just, this figure is going to last. Like, it has no, nothing that will, like, oh, man, you showed a handbag. Nothing that will, like, like, pleather. I don't know what the boots are yet. I think they're, like, a faux cloth type of cotton. But I don't know if they're pleather. Are they pleather? I hate the pleather. I hate it because in my area, the humidity kills it. So it just kind of ruins it. I don't like it. But as you can see, what I don't like is that, you know, in your Black Series, I don't have one up here. Your Black Series, when you buy your Black Series uh, Roll of Guard, which just about everyone and their mother got, if you didn't, if you don't know about it, the Black Series one, when you lift up the robe, it shows this samurai warrior-esque armor underneath it. And that I love to death because it was just the detail hiding under so much just like simplicity it was just so much hiding under so much simple and that's what i love like i was hoping that's why i was like in this convention trying to look up the skirt of the royal guard like i was trying to look up skirts and of royal guards in the convention because i was like 
is Hot always going to do that? That's going to be super awesome. But they didn't. They just have a plain old soft robe, you know, bathrobe stuff going on underneath. Like, it's... I was really hoping for that samurai-looking armor to be underneath like Hasbro did. Hasbro did a really good job on that uh, World Guard figure. Like, it's amazing. It's perfect. I love it. Um... I don't know if the cape will be wired. Um, this is more of a figure that I don't think it needs a wired cape, being that this figure doesn't fly around much, or this guy doesn't fly around. The character doesn't really do any flying because uh, he doesn't have powers like that. And he only comes with, I guess, his force pike. We'll see here in a second. The helmet, though, look as you can see, the visor is red, nice red, that gloss, all oh, that gloss. It just makes it so pretty. So this is all what it comes with for 205. I can't tell if that's a pleathery boot. They're showing the boot like it's an accessory or something. I love how they're displaying that. But um, it comes with the uh, standard square Star Wars base that I love. I love the square bases. I love the cradles. I love the uh, plaque that is in front of it, the aluminum uh, laser carved edged, whatever you want to call it. Uh, plaque and then the hands that he comes with and then his force pike but that's about it that's all you get with this guy um would have liked the two pack and then tupac and then like throw in some i don't know something from a death star that lies around on the ground or some type of two pack like you get the you know the uh the famous window behind palpatine in the death star or something like that or Something incredible. Something something that will make us want the two-pack any day. And then people like thrive, like suffer and die over this uh, one, one, one roll guard for 205. But my verdict is to buy this hands down. It's, it's an amazing figure. This one for 205, I can't complain. And I, I, I can't complain saying that they... they, they what will happen to the underneath armor? If, if if that's some kind of canon or not real, and Hasbro did it and Hot Toys didn't do it, then let me know in the comments below. I'm not a Star Wars pro, but then I'm I know a lot about Star Wars, but not everything. So uh, do let me know what that story is about. Um, it's just that this figure is really nice. I think 189 or 195 or something that that would have been a price that enables people to keep buying more and more. And they would have sold a lot more. But at 205, I'm going to probably get just two of them. And if I get two of them, that means I'll have to save the money on Palpatine and just get um, the regular version for Palpatine. Save that 90 bucks. I can pay half for this and then use Sideshow Reward Points and then basically save half off, another half off too, and then get this uh, second roll guard. So get my uh, old trilogy uh, collection complete once Return of the Jedi Vader comes out and too bad they're probably never gonna, gonna make Slave Leia because Slave Leia is too sexy for Disney and that's about it so if you like what you saw here make sure you subscribe like and stay tuned for more buyer pass videos here on Easy Company Collectible.